Hey guys, this is my review for the WWE Raw 1028. This is last week's Raw. Um, I will be doing what's today? Uh, today? Well, today is actually the fourth. So, um, that video will be up. Um, Wednesday. Because I also have to do it. Yeah, because it has the same thing I have to do all over again. Hold up, okay. It's a lot. There's so many videos to do. So Wednesday, I will have up Raw for 11 for today. And last week's SmackDown and TNA. I was going to do TNA last week, but Hell in a Cell. I did Hell in a Cell. But since there's no pay-per-view this week, Wednesday, I'm going to have up. No, I can't do Raw because Raw won't be up. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Hold on. I don't know. Okay, if I'm going to try to get Raw. I'm going to try to have a Raw Smackdown and TNA by Wednesday. If not, I will have it. I may just have SmackDown and TNA up by Wednesday and Raw by Friday because towards this weekend I'm be kind of busy maybe okay so I'm gonna try to do SmackDown and TNA by um, Wednesday and Raw today by Friday something like that but this is SmackDown this, I mean, this is Raw, my bad. This is the Raw after Hell in a Cell. 1028 after Hell in a Cell. This is last week's Raw. Because of my schedule, I'm kind of, I'm a week behind, but I'm trying to catch up. So basically, John Cena opens this show as the new World Heavyweight Champion. champion. Um, and the first match um, was John Cena versus uh, Damian Sandow. He came down with his briefcase like he was going to cash it in, but he didn't cash it in. 10 minute match, John Cena won the match. So that was the first match of the show. Then we have the WWE US Championship, Dame Ambrose with the Shield versus Big E. And the Shield interfered. So basically, Big E won by his qualification, but Ambrose is still the United States Championship. So basically, Big E got screwed two times. That's basically what it is. D Ambrose is still the. United States Champion, basically. Uh, then we have... Because then it turned into... A, um, Big, e, Big E had won by disqualification, but then the match turned into a tag team match, which, which was the Shield versus Big E and the Usos. The Usos came to help about Big E, and the Shield won that match. But the first match, Big E won by disqualification. The next match, um, it wasn't a match, it was a segment. Shawn Michaels came out and explained what he did to uh, at Hell in a Cell. He explains why he took out Daniel Bryan. Or Sweet Chin Music to Daniel Bryan. Um, and then Daniel Bryan comes out mad. And then the Wyatt family comes out and attacks Daniel Bryan. And then Shawn Michaels, you know, just leaves, you know. That segment is over. He came out to explain why he attacked him. And the Wyatt family took out Dane Bryan. And that was the end of that. Then we have the Los Matadores versus El Torito with 3 and B. And the Los Matadores won that match. Then we have AJ and Tamina. They are a good team. They are a very, very good team. They should be a, um, a tag team championship for the Divas. Cause they are a good t team. Versus, so we had AJ and Tamina versus Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, and AJ and Tamina won. Then we have Kane versus The Miz, and of course Kane won the match. And uh. Kane, after the match was over, Kane called out Stephanie McMahon. 
she came out, but she ain't going to ring, obviously. And basically, Kane took off his mask and he gave his mask to Stephanie McMahon. I personally, I like Kane better without the mask because, to me, he seemed more scarier with the mask on. I mean, without the mask on. So I'm glad that he took the mask off. Just like I like the Undertaker with longer hair than short hair. That's just my opinion. But obviously, when you get older, your hair. Well, it, I don't know how to explain. Well, you start to go bald, and I'm not sure if that's the reason, or maybe he just wanted a different haircut. But I like the Undertaker with his longer hair than his short hair. But maybe he couldn't. I mean, as you get older, your hair starts to, you know, fall out and everything. So, I don't know if he did it because of that or if it's because he just wanted something new. So, basically, um, Kane gives his mask to um, Stephanie McMahon. Um, then we have a street fight match, which is with his, um, CM Punk versus Ryback. And CM Punk won the street fight. Then we have the Real Americans versus Zab Kotler with the Rhodes. Uh, dynasty and the real Americans won. Then we have Summer Ray versus Fandango. I mean, Summer Ray with Fandango versus Natalia with the Great Khali and Hornswoggle. And the Great Khali was basically a distraction, and Natalia was able to win. Um, because the Great Khali hand chopped. Fandango, which was a distraction and allowed Natalia to win, which is very good. And then the last segment of Raw, um, all the WWE superstars were on the ramp. And then Randy Orton came out. No, first it was the McMahons came out, Triple H and Staff, and they, they came out. And then uh, Orton came out. And then the Big Show, who has been fired, he comes back. But the Big Show has filed a lawsuit against WWE, which you will find out today, since an uh, update since today is the 4th. This is last week for all, but the Big Show probably is going to be there today. That's a prediction, and he filed a lawsuit. So the Big Show is trying to come to the ring, but the shield cuts the Big Show off, and basically, the Big Show takes the shield out. I mean, he just knocks them out. <laughs> And then Rand and, and you know Triple H and Stephanie run out the ring, and then Randy Orton you know tries to defend fight the Big Show. The Big Show knocks him out, and the match goes off like and the Raw goes off with the Big Show standing over Randy Orton knocked out, and Triple H and Stephanie are man inside the ring. So next week Raw, which is today, the Big Show probably will come after um Triple H and Stephanie man. So that's gonna happen today. So, subscribe, comment, like, tell me what videos you want to see, and um, after this video, I'm doing my SmackDown review.